this color in my life. Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie, and in case you guys couldn't tell, I moved my craft corner! So much less room! But I actually feel like I have more room now because I don't have like a little desk. I have this big, giant desk. So the room may be smaller, but I feel like there's just overall a lot more room to do activities. Anyway, the reason that I moved is because Tori gave me permission to use the entire downstairs of our house as my new craft corner. And that means the craft corner gets a kitchen. A very uh, messy kitchen. I'm really sorry. I'll clean this up, I promise. And that also means that I need to use this entire room too. I know this is also a huge mess. Uh, I'm sorry, okay? I'll, I'll get I'll get everything cleaned up. It's a work in progress. And on top of all that, I also get a closet? And did I mention that it's a magic closet? You see, you open it up and it's just a normal closet. But watch what happens when I do this. Oh, oh my gosh, it's Hawaii! Oh man, I better warm up. Oh, oh, the desert. Oh. Woo. Now it's a little too hot, I gotta close this. Anyway guys, the whole thing is still a bit of a work in progress, but let's get down to what we're doing today. Today we're gonna be trying some fun life hacks from the video, seven fun and useful beauty hacks by Crafty Panda. Let's do this. So it looks like I'm gonna need a vacuum. Oh, thank you so much for cleaning up, intern. No problem. Let's go to the garage. Oh, yes, also a mess. But we got just what we needed. Oh. Oh. Woo. Go ahead and plug this in. Okay, and I think we're all set. We got the stuff. So this is my lips before, you know, they're pretty nice. Actually pretty awful. But how do my lips look? Do they look more luscious? I don't think they look any bigger. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. And I feel like it's kind of dangerous. <laughs> so don't try this one at home. Okay guys, so here's our concealer. Do you see it? Do you see it? Do you see it? Do you see it? Anyway, yeah, that's our concealer. Gonna go ahead and get a plate. And I don't actually want to mix it in here because I feel like that would just waste all the concealer inside of it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a bunch right here and then another little glob of it right here. Yeah, that looks uh, pretty good. And then I'm gonna go ahead and get my lotion and just put it on one of the piles of makeup. Mix, mix, mix. Honestly, it feels like this one's gotten a little bit lighter, but not too bad. They still look about the same color. What if I add a little bit more lotion? Wow! That's still pretty close. Let's just go ahead and do the arm test really quick. So this is uh, the regular concealer, okay? And then this is with added lotion. What? Dude, it's pretty freaking similar. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one actually works. I don't know how far you could dilute it before, you know, it stops working, but you know, you're a little short on concealer, just throw a little bit of lotion there and it, it, it works. It's like when your mom says, hey, you almost had a perfume, just put a little bit of water in there. Anyway, yep, it works. Okay guys, so here's our mascara. Yeah, one of these ought to do. How's this one? Oh, no, looks uh, pretty not dry to me. Nope, nope. Honestly, all these are pretty new still. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go ahead and break out my heat gun. Bibbidi boop. And we're gonna go ahead and dry this out. Oh, oh no, it made it even better. It's starting to like bubble the mascara off of it. And now it's smoking. <gasps> Did it work? Oh, that's really dry. So now we're gonna go ahead and break out our kettle. Oh, I didn't think it was smoking that much. Oh my God, I have to go turn off my fire alarm. It does kind of smell like plastic's burning. Boil some water. 
Okay, that sounds like it's almost boiling. Uh, that's, this might actually be a little too hot, if you know what I'm saying. Go ahead and pour that into our cup. Oh yeah, that's nice and warm. We just uh, dip that in there. And now we wait for one minute, apparently. I'll see you then. Okay, it's been about a minute. The results are in. Ooh, that still feels, uh, <laughs> that feels pretty dry. Although I think it's because, you know, I used a heat gun on it. Anyway, let's, uh... Oh? Eh. Guys, I'm gonna have to say that this one kinda works. I would give it a straight three out of 10. Although I don't really know a lot about mascara, so uh, do with that as you will. Okay guys, so here's my shaver. Oh no! I got my hair everywhere! Oh, this is actually kind of gross. And oh no! My hair, it's everywhere! Break out our trusty lint roller. Boopity boop. Oh wow! That cleaned up a lot of it actually. I mean, it's cleaning up a lot of it. But uh, there's still a lot of random little hairs all over. I can use another sheet, I guess. Oh! No! No, I keep messing up the sheets. I feel so bad. This is Tori's lint roller. Okay, I'll try this again. I mean, it's cleaned up most of it. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one kinda works. So I don't have any like star shaped stickers or any like randomly shaped stickers that I could use for this So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get some parchment paper and some duct tape Ooh, Stick it right on there. Then I'm gonna break out my exacto knives and just you know make a shape Let's make a star. Yeah, that's kind of a star. Oh boy. It's kind of not the best star. Oh, no Okay, uh, uh, that'll have to do. And then maybe let's do a triangle. Or sorry, let's do a square. A little bit easier here. Let's also do a triangle. Yeah. Let's peel that off. So here's our. <laughs> so here's our little triangle. Here's my square. I guess it's more of like a, a diamond almost. And here's our star. It's not pretty, but you know it'll work. Okay, let's see. If you see a little bit of makeup on my face, it's uh, definitely not because I just did the hack without actually recording it. That would be silly. Guys, I accidentally did the hack without recording it. But we're gonna do it again. So I know what's gonna happen, but you guys don't. Maybe you do. I don't know. So here's our star. Yes! Oh, that's on there. But then we get our square. Put that right there. And our triangle right below that. Then we grab our blush. Boobity boop. Yellow's good. Let's do yellow. A little bit of contrast. Oh, yes. Speaking of contrast. There we go. Pink looks a lot better. So now we got yellow on my face, blue on my hair, and pink in the background. I love it. Okay, what do you guys think is about to happen? Well, you're about to find out. Here we go. Oh my god, is that a square? That's a square. Okay, but will this turn into a triangle? Oh, <gasps> that's a little triangle. You guys ready for the star? I don't know if you can handle this star. Ah! <laughs> What a derpy looking star. It looks like Patrick Star. You got, look at that. A little Patrick Star on my face. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one works. It's actually pretty cool. I like it. Down in the comments down below, let me know if you guys think this should be my daily makeup routine. If we get 10,000 likes, guys, I'll wear my makeup super crazy like this in the next video. I'll do all sorts of shapes. I'll go, I'll go crazy, just do it. guys so luckily I got a bunch of random lip gloss here so we can really go ham on this color we got pink and pink and slightly orange pink wait these are all pink oh uh, mm, it looks like uh, we're doing a custom shade of pink <laughs> let's start out with this pink here we go mmm oh yes I can definitely tell that my lips are a different color now I'm starting to think that lip gloss is not what I was supposed to use I think I was supposed to use lipstick so what they're saying is I just mix random lipstick shades together. Let me see if I can find more lipsticks. Okay, I was able to find some more. We got this very pink one. Oh, oh, that's really pink. Wow, what a custom shade of pink. Maybe mix a little bit of red in there. 
Yeah, I've never seen lips this color in my life. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one 100% works. Okay, so now that I got all this lipstick on my mouth, now whenever I go to kiss Tori, it's just gonna get right on her. And we can't have that, can we? So I'm gonna go ahead and break out my finishing powder. God, it's everywhere. Just jab it on my lips. I think it's working. It looks great. Yeah, I definitely don't think that this lipstick is going anywhere. Now let's try it. Oh! It's definitely less. Like, look how much less that is. Although, I put a bunch on before, so a lot of it probably came off on the first go. But that's definitely a lot less. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one actually kind of works. Woo! Guys, guess what? I got some new goggles. Does this look awesome or what? I really want to know what you guys think, so down in the comments down below, tell me if I should keep them or get rid of them. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Looks like this fight right down there. Remember, 10,000 likes, crazy makeup in the next video. If you guys want to watch me try even more fun makeup beauty hacks, I have a whole playlist that can be doing that right here. If you guys are new, make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you guys want this merch, you can click right here. And if none of that stuff sounds fun, you can always click the mystery card. Okay, guys, love you so much. I'll see you guys again real soon. Peace, love, and Wi-Fi. Are we ready? Okay, bye. Ah!